Hi guys, welcome back. I am Stu and I am doing another challenge. This challenge is called Burning Through Bumbly Bazaar and it was set over on Reddit. So with this one then, we're using the Bumbly Bazaar scenario and it's going to be a shop sales based scenario, based target. So the basic goals is there's two there's two challenges. There's the, um, the main challenge and then there's the extreme challenge. So the main challenge is you basically need to have um, a food and drink income of over 800 a month for three months, shop income of 1100 a month for three months and park rating of over 600. For the basic challenge, you're not allowed to spam rides, um, but you are allowed to put shops pretty much anywhere. Um, for the extreme challenge, it's very similar except the food and drink has to be 1100 a month for three months shop is 1400 a month for three months and park rating is 700 for three months um but crucially you're only allowed to use these shops here you there are a couple of other shop things you can put down toilets atms that sort of thing but for the actual shops these are the only ones you can use so what i thought i'd do is clearly then the the idea is to have a challenge that people people basically pick and choose which challenge they go for but what i thought i would do is i would try and achieve the goal for the extreme challenge but using the rules for the first challenge um trying to go for both at the same time if that makes sense so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to spam ride so i'll use one of every type of ride that i've got available or however you know as far as i can go um but i'm also only going to use these shops and i'm going to go for the target for the extreme challenge so what i come up with then is i came up with an idea um so if you've ever played tower defense this will make complete sense to you so in a tower defense game say the baddies will come in from this way and they've got to get to that way um what you will do is you'll put down your towers um and you want to do it so that every single baddie has to go past every single one of your towers in order to maximize the chances of you destroying the baddie so what i thought i would do with this is i would place the rides in such a way and then place the pathing of the shops in such a way so that every guest has to go past every one of these shops um so what i what i'm going to do then what i well, what i did do then is i placed um i rejigged the paths and then i placed the rides um down this way and then down that way and then so we had the entrance this side the exit this side and then every single guest who goes on the right has to then come past these shops and then i also added another path that leads back into the the shop complex and um i used a lot of no entry signs as well to ensure that they only can go one way um otherwise they will get lost and stuck and i also put down a load of bins around the place and a load of handymen and that enabled the place to to be quite tidy and the rating to be pretty good as well but i've recorded it all so i'll show you what i did and um yeah hope you enjoy
so we're all done then park rating is 980 so that's fine so that was over 700 for three months and we've got the shop sales so there you go that's over um 1400 for three months in a row and then the food and drink sales that's over 1100 for three months in a row so when i achieved it it was 22nd of august year one so let's have a look then at how i did it so these are the original shops so let's turn off people right so this is the first ride i put down and then so and then all of these rides as well so the people come out of the ride and then they can only head this way so they come down here just next to this sunglasses store and then because of the no entry signs they can only go down this way then they go past the lemonade stand back down to the pizza stall back all the way up and then they go around around the t-shirt store and then back down this way onto the main path so i i deleted the paths there and i added the wall so that enabled me then to put the paths back down without them connecting up and then what i've done just here is i've added another path that leads back up to here um so they can't go back down the exits but they can come back into the shopping areas if they so choose put down a lot of atms as well and also um in here i've put quite a few handymen no not handymen quite a few entertainers as you can just see a, a little panda there um so that gives a, the guests a bit of a boost as well in their happiness so they should be fairly happy coming off coming off the rides there you go happy um is that the same one yeah there you go very thirsty but they're very happy they like to buy things when they're happy um so they're all coming down this way so every one of these guests and the same same for these rides down here they they get on the ride this side the entrance path and then they get off the ride this side and they all lead down they all funnel down into the shopping area so they're all headed one way they're all happy they're all hungry and thirsty they've all got money and then they come down and they spend all their cash in the shopping area and then they come back out to the main path and then they can either go back into the shops or they can go back on another ride and then come back through again so um it's a very good system i think it, it worked really well and um i'll definitely be trying this again sometime because no doubt in some of the scenarios we're going to do in future some of the custom ones and and the expansion set ones no doubt um we're going to come up with a shop sales target again and i'll definitely be using this this tactic again because it worked really well and um and we did it pretty quick i mean august year one we, we completed it in so um i think it was looking back it was something like um june 1st we completed the we completed the actual objective so yeah i'm really happy with the way with the way it turned out um and um the rides yeah these these are all rides that i've i've already used before in the past and saved it this first one i modified it slightly to enable it to have a uh, photo section i'm not sure if that give us much of a help but um but yeah it's pretty cool all, all the same and um yeah so that was the burning through bumbly bizarre bumbly bazaar i should say um challenge posted over on reddit if you want to get on board with these challenges see the link below the video for the reddit and um, pop on over there register and and sign yourself up anyway i am Stu, and i'll see you next time bye